First of all, women should ask their physicians to check their 25 hydroxy vitamin D level. Uh, that measures how much vitamin D3 you're taking. A woman's 25 hydroxy vitamin D level is correlated uh, with the risk of ovarian cancer, meaning uh, women with the highest levels of vitamin D3 have the lowest risk of ovarian cancer. So it's very important not to guess about your dose. Ask your doctor to measure your level. The most you can get if you're eating a good diet with a lot of vitamin D is about 320 units a day. The least you will need for an anti-cancer dose is about a thousand units a day, meaning that one you'll probably have to take a supplement. The other thing you should ask your doctor about is whether to take aspirin three or four times a week. Your doctor may say the bleeding risk outweighs the benefits, but numerous studies have shown that women that take aspirin three to four times a week have up to a 40 to 50 percent decrease in their chance of developing ovarian cancer. You should also talk to your doctor about screening beginning at age 45 to 50 for ovarian cancer. What I use for my patients is a yearly CA-125, a newer test called HE4, which is a blood marker for ovarian cancer, and to do a transvaginal sonogram. Uh, those three tests together have been shown to increase the chance that a doctor can pick up ovarian cancer when it's early and at its most curable state. And finally, women should try and maintain their ideal body weight, or at least be within 10% of their ideal body weight. The more uh, fat you have on you, the more obese you are, your risk of ovarian cancer goes up, and if you do develop ovarian cancer, your chances of surviving decrease proportionately to how overweight you are.